Hello everyone, so welcome to this video and today we're gonna talk about the land matching for your signal in the signals and also I'm gonna show you that how it also very important when you have two SMAs when you have two SMAs and the two SMAs are carrying single ended signals and they both are going to something different here. so for example in my uh, I have a kind of like a weird looking uh, layout down there but the main purpose of this section is that I have two SMAs and I have a single in the signal and I'm assuming, here's a word, I'm assuming that this part of the circuit, uh, this part of the layout is basically all differential, all right? So now the question arises that definitely, definitely these are not really well matched, right? These are not looking well matched. And how can we know about that this is not really well matched? Well, the easiest way to see is you can go to your panel and you can go to your PCB down there and once you go to your PCB you have a lot of a big window down there but you don't really have to care about each of them but if you go and change to for example uh, NATS here and if you go and change the NATS and then uh, if you click on all NATS and then if you go down here to here here you go RFN and RFP can you see that they are not the same because this is basically talking about the signal lens right can you see that these are not the same? These are really different, right? They're different by a lot. Now, our goal as this video is how can we make them match? And that's a kind of important topic. So there is two ways you can do that, all right? There is two great ways to do that. But before you do any of them, you also have to do something to tell Altium, dude, I got a pairs and help me out. So yeah, so we're just def basically going to going to do the same thing here all right so the first thing the first most thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a class for these two pairs all right we're gonna create a class for this and this so what I'm gonna go what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the design here right once I click on the design I have a class here not a class happy classes or anything like that just the classes all right I'm gonna go to the class and I'm gonna try to create a class using these two pairs i mean the rf and and also the rfp so that i can easily tell altium what to do with that all right so let's go to the net classes right click on it add a class and give a nice name say like rf ah uh, like rf net don't give a name like of your axe or something all right just give a nice name like rf net and then on this panel I'm gonna just choose these two of the pairs that I'm very very interested about very really I'm super interested about all right so this is RFN and this is RFP and I already created a nice name using RFNet well the first step is done so congratulations if you've done the step as well but the second step is a little more easy at the same time it takes a lot of preciseness all right and that is of course the almighty design rules and now go to design go to rules go down try to find a matched lane all right and once you do it click new rules and now now not there now if you expand that you'll see that one tab is open now we're gonna go here and now we're gonna do something cool here we're gonna choose the class that we just choose so that we can tell all team that dude i found this so next class go to all this select rfnets and once you do it you are not all set yes i'm kidding you're not set yet then you have to kind of tweak these kind of variables here right so yeah i'm gonna choose tolerance as very tight all right like a 10 mils all right 10 mils tolerance i can i can go more lower to it like a five mils would be crazy but i want to tell you something before i even do that like why i'm doing this all right if i cancel if i don't do anything here if I cancel and if I try to use this traditional traditional interactive land tuning here and if I click on here look how crazy this looking is because it doesn't know what to match right it doesn't know what to match so it needs a design rules for that so there's a whole purpose of doing it so that's the reason we need to create a design rules all right I just want to quickly show you why this is important so all right let's not talk a lot let's just directly create the design rules for our match length so I'm gonna again choose a differential pair sorry not net class my bad and then RF net and then here I'm gonna say it's like a 10 mils of a tie torus you could also use a delay unit if you want to I don't really care it's mostly useful for your clock um, signaling whatever it is but I'm gonna say apply all right 10 mils now let's let's try on our 
gracious, gracious interactive land tuning. I'm gonna click on here and I'm gonna see how it's working. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. It's already this bar, the, the green bar you can see, is already telling you that these are really going to match together. And here as well. I click on this one and this is already matched. So it doesn't really bother. See this already matched. Now you see like how we got this peak around here and then that's basically uh, what the match looks like. And sometimes as, as people as you see in some of the videos that they always say is always try to match the land on your driving force. So here the RFP is your driving force. So that's the reason you got the peak around here. You, there's another way, there's another easy way to do it instead of like doing manually and this is basically going to your tools and going down and trying to find the equalize net lens and once you click on it you have this window and now you can just choose let's see like around it I don't know if it's gonna work let's see okay here you go <laughs> you can definitely see this there right it's already matched but the reason it's kind of squarish is because I choose around it but if you choose like those squarish again um, like that one that 90 degree then you can definitely see this one as well the, the pick all right so that's all for today um, thanks for watching my video and please don't forget to subscribe see you on the next one take care